my dorm room DIYs that I've showed in my previous dorm room tour video and I'll link that video down below so everyone can go check it out and see what kind of things I did to spruce up my dorm room and make it my own as well as kind of like the color scheme that I went with that will kind of like translate into like why I use certain colors like the theme I was going for with my room so I have three DIYs to show you in this video today and I know you're gonna love them they're super super easy to make just giving you some inspiration on different things you can do with your dorm room so I'll quit blabbering and let's get on into the video let's go. for the first DIY I'm going to be showing you how to make my version of this gradient flower wall hanging the first step is to gather a bunch of plastic flowers I bought mine at the dollar store for mine I chose three different types of flowers to create a gradient effect laying out all the flowers first is the best way to keep your pattern when actually sewing all the flowers on the string next measure out the length you want each string to hang on the wall and cut your fishing line to that length making sure to cut enough pieces of fishing line depending on how many vertical rows of flowers you want make a loop at the top of each fishing line so that you'll be able to hang the string take a sewing needle and start threading the fishing line through each flower I pulled the thread through the front of the flower along the back and back out the front so that the flowers would be held better in place and to help keep them laying flat against the wall. Tie a knot at the bottom of the flower and then repeat the process again with the next flower, continuing down the fishing line. Evenly spacing each flower until you reach the end of the row, where you can just tie a knot and cut the string. If sewing is not your thing, you could always try using a hot glue gun to attach the flowers to the string, but I chose sewing as a sturdier and less messy option. To hang the project in my dorm, I purchased a wooden dowel from Home Depot for under a dollar, threading each loop of each string onto the dowel and balancing it on command strips at the top of my ceiling. To make some personalized desk storage for your dorm room, I used three mason jars of different sizes and shapes to hold my pens, pencils, rulers, and whatever else I wanted to store on my desk. I chose to paint one jar robin's egg blue using acrylic paint and then another jar gold. Use a piece of sandpaper to scuff up the jars to give it a more rustic look. For the last jar, I spread some white craft glue all around the middle section and then took some twine and started circling it around the jar, almost to create a can koozie effect around the mason jar. I ended up putting some blue flowers in one of the jars and filled the rest with my pencils and art supplies. The last and one of my favorite DIYs I've ever done was a super inexpensive geometric metal crystal mobile that I hung from my ceiling. All you need for this DIY is straws, gold spray paint, super thin wire, scissors, and fishing line if you choose to hang the sculptures from the ceiling. To make this crystal, take 9 plastic straws, take the gold spray paint and carefully spray each straw. I suggest wearing a pair of plastic gloves for this step. Measure the wire to be 2 lengths of 1 straw and add on about 2 inches to that length. Cut 3 of this size. Thread two straws onto each piece of wire, creating three separate elements. Next, measure the wire to be three lengths of one straw, again adding two inches to that length and cut one strand. Thread three straws onto each piece of wire to create the middle portion of the crystal. Take the wire with three straws and create a triangle, twisting the piece of wire that is hanging out together to attach the two ends. Then take one of the two straw wires and thread it inside of one of the corners of the triangle and wrap it around the wire to attach it. Repeat this step for the other two corners. Now you'll have this super strange looking thingy-majig, but all you have to do to finish off this sculpture is take the wire hanging out of all the ends and twist them all together. Together. Repeat that for the other side and you're all done. I created three of these little crystals to complete my mobile just by cutting the straws in various sizes and repeated the same process two more times. To hang it from the ceiling just use fishing line and thread it through and then loop it on a command hook attached to your ceiling and then you'll have an awesome looking art sculpture to hang in your dorm. And we're back! I hope you guys enjoyed watching that video. I love making these kind of room decoration DIYs to help spruce up my room because you know your girl's on a budget like every other university kid out there practically. I know a bunch of yours too so hopefully this video gives you some inspiration inspiration on ways that you can decorate your own room. Make sure to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already because I'll be posting lots of new videos really shortly. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked my DIYs because I would really appreciate that a lot. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and I'll talk to y'all soon. Bye! Bye.